Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to uh, see uh, an interesting workflow of uh, importing uh, like a sample level like this, which has been created in a DCC app like Maya, and and how we can uh, like export and import this properly into Unreal. Because normally, uh, most of the times, we we will create a level mm, uh, setup in, inside the engine. Uh, but sometimes what happens is we do some block outs and, and uh, we, we can even do some uh, set design things in in Maya and, and would like to have all the set pieces inside uh, the engine as it is. So let us uh, dive into that. So as you can see, like uh, we ha I have all the uh, assets uh, lying around like this and I would like to export this uh, as an FBX. So I'll go file export selection and I'll just do a uh, like export as a room sample and that's it like the FBX and uh, another thing is there is no any extra special uh, like options which I have ticked on uh, it's as usual by default uh, you can just yeah go ahead with these settings and that should be fine and if we jump back to Unreal so in usual cases what happens is uh, while importing assets we use uh, either import assets like this or we right click and uh, do a uh, import to and and then we import like this but in this case if we are going to do that then let us see what problems uh, we, we uh, get into so um, let me just import it yeah, it's imported and if I select all the asset here and drag it into the level as you can see uh, all the actors are there but uh, like the pivot location of all the actors is the same which is at, at, at the center you can say so which is uh, like mm, like not what we want because we would like to have the pivot location of uh, individual asset at, the, at, at their center uh, one way we can definitely solve this is uh, we can go to modeling mode uh, and and uh, go to XForm and select uh, one object and edit it, make it center, bottom, however we want, and bake this. Uh, this this way we can definitely do it. Uh, but the problem is like we do not know how many asset will be in our set, or or like how many asset you have to do this uh, manually. So that is not a very ideal way of doing it. For one or two objects, it's fine, but for a set. Uh, having too many assets it's a tedious process so in this case let us see how we can import it uh, like in another way where we it will solve our problem so let me just go back to the selection so in this import method what I'll do is I'll go to file import into level and I'll select the FBX and it will ask me where to import uh, the, the asset in the content browser select this and now I'll get a FBX scene import options window. So this is a very important thing because here it will uh, select all the things which I'm getting uh, along with the import and it is creating a, a set, a, a null actor node you can say. And uh, you have some uh, like the details of uh, static meshes. Uh, if it is a skeleton mesh, that's a different thing. Uh, material, so all options you can see uh, before importing what other things you are getting like you're importing into the engine. So let us go to the scene. Uh, so by default, uh, there's a high possibility when you first do this, you'll have this uh, option by default, create one blueprint asset. You can go ahead with this as well, uh, but I prefer to go ahead with create level actors and this will be switched off for you. Uh, so you can switch it on. So what this will do is the settings. Let us see, let us just import. It will uh, import all the assets and put it in our uh, content browser as well as take that set piece as a whole, having all the assets inside it and uh, create uh, the, the, the whole set and place it into the in level. And here you can see if I go and select uh, our individual actors, then all the individual actors has their pivot uh, within its uh, bound. 
so nothing is out of uh, range or something like that so this is very very handy and uh, if, even if we want to like uh, change the position of anything and all we can easily do that so that is the, the the best way of doing this this thing and even if you select the set you can move it uh, wherever you want or if you want it uh, okay sometimes yeah this is another thing I'd like to show sometimes if something like this happens like while moving it gets snapped and, uh, and, and uh, orientation gets changed just make sure to make it 90 so it will fix uh, the problem for you guys okay so yeah that is mostly it hopefully hopefully uh, you have learned something new and and uh, for a lot of you this will solve uh, the problem of the pivot uh, of of accessing the pivot of individual assets while importing it as a scene okay so thank you uh, until next time bye bye